For those wondering why we have a late podcast today, well, if you know, now you know. And it's some Transformers Rise of the Beast news, of course. Looks like today we have our very first look in the Western world of our Transformers Rise of the Beast mainline deluxe class Cheetor. Now, Cheetor had two primary listings that were leaked all those months ago, I believe in July or June, of Butch. Butch was his code name. And we had a TF7 Deluxe Butch Deluxe class listing, and we had a Tra Gen Studio Series Voyager class TF7 Butch listing. So what we're looking at here today is the Deluxe class mainline. At some point in the future, we will have the larger Studio Series 1, which will be more detailed. So keep in mind that there's still more to be seen of uh, these designs and the robot mode. And probably when we do see the Studio Series in the future, we'll probably be much more detailed of the final product. But here we have today our Deluxe Class Cheetor, both in robot mode and in Cheetah mode. And if you are a longtime Beast Wars fan like I am... You'll be very happy to see how loyal they are to the original source material. Obviously, when the first images started to pop up, these all came courtesy of different Chinese message boards and Weibo and stuff, and then started to fall into the hands of different Western fans and posting on websites, socials, Instagrams, everything like that. But when these images first started posting up, a lot of people were speculating, much like they did with the Air Razor, that it is a massive retool of the Kingdom version, but that is not so much the case. Anyone that has ever messed with any Cheetor toy in the past 25 years know that there's only so many ways you could reinvent that transformation, and this is something that is a brand new tooling, a brand new sculpt, and if anything, just is inspired by the many Cheetor that came before and since, and looks really good. Uh, alt mode, obviously, if you had to pick something out, is just that the, the the coloring and detail of what will make his boots in robot mode is not hid very well in, um, in the cheetah mode here with the brown at the back. But if anything, that's almost a throwback to the original toy, how it also did a terrible job of hiding the blue and the spikes of the original robot mode boots in the back. So if anything, it's keeping the tradition. Big match, maximal logo on the forehead. A lot of spots everywhere looking good. And I, again, you could see the similarities from the Kingdom 1, but it really is just how modern Transformers are today and how there's only so much you could do with that Cheetor design while staying loyal to the silhouette of the robot mode. And let's talk about that robot mode because when transformed, it is our classic Cheetor design, but modernized for the Rise of the Beast movie. What's really... Uh, exciting is that they were able to have a tail weapon much like his transmetal version and still have some kind of gut gun that is stored in the gut mode of the cheetah but here it's a gun in his hand so you have the gut gun from the tra from the original design from season one you have a tail weapon like the transmetal design from season two much like how optimus primal has a fusion of both his two swords from his toy and his mace weapon from his toy uh, a nice mixture of different kinds of weapons, again, really celebrating that which is the Beast Wars franchise, even when it comes to weapons and veneering and design and design choices. Good choice of the light blue paint across the different areas, again, to invoke that of the original Cheetor design and be celebrating that, but still having the browns and grays that you expect from the live action movies, <laughs> everything like that. Looks really 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 good i'm very excited with how this turned out and especially even the robot mode face so the next step now is to see obviously some animation models of how he's going to look in the movie what's going to be unfortunate is probably whatever box art we see of these characters will probably still not be a 100 percent good look at how they'll look in the movie because a lot of box art and stuff is usually, you know, early test test renders and stuff like that, and the final renders are what's actually in the movie itself, much like we saw with the Optimus Primal and the early packaging that we saw with all the mainline stuff from the Smash Changer and the mask and everything like that. But still looks great, really exciting, fantastic stuff. Hopefully we learn more about this in the next couple of days. It looks like a lot of this product now is going to start showing up over the next couple of weeks. We're in 2023 now. 
It's a beast year. Anyone saw on my Twitter, I just did that huge Beast Wars collection post. It's going to be a beast year. It's going to be a crazy, crazy beast year. And there's a lot of product that we're going to be seeing. And Cheetor is just the tip of the iceberg. Just one spot of many. Hope we'll be there together to look through it all. Again, this is the Transformer Slag podcast, and we'll be talking again real, real soon.